what is going on guys and welcome to another episode of coffee break um it's been a minute man it's been a while since i've done these um i'm gonna kick it up a notch and i'm gonna be putting out more videos i promise i promise i promise it's been like super busy i've been trying to recalibrate my life my schedule and so many things we got going on that eventually um you know the the story will come out um as as far as like all the other projects i got going on everybody knows I actually started a brand of coffee. So let's cheers to that real quick. Ah, it's so good. Actually, it's great. And that leads us to today's sponsor, Great Coffee. Today's video was sponsored by Great Coffee. Premium, 100% Arabica beans from Colombia. Why is it so great? Because there's no one in the middle. It's directly from Colombia to the States, roasted fresh locally in Bristol, Connecticut, and delivered straight to you. Visit greatcoffee.co and order your bag. And that's G-R-8coffee.co. We have available in half a pound bags and full pound bags, just like this one. Thank you for watching. So today I just wanted to quickly talk about a thought that you know, came to mind. Um, I'm not doing an interview. So it was more of a reflection, I thought. And it was it was more of our own thought process. I'm not sure if I'm the only one. I hope not. But sometimes you get into these moments, you know, you're driving and you're doing something and you get these thoughts that come into your mind that it's just like you like you ask yourself, like, where the heck did this thought come from? And you try to cancel it right away. At least I do. I try to cancel it right away, especially if it's a if it's an ugly thought, if it's a bad thought, um, because sometimes these thoughts that come into our minds, like we, they just like come out of left field, and if you're not like ready, you you get distracted. It could it could put you on a on a different route. Um, that now I truly truly understand why the Bible says, you know, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And it doesn't say like sometimes, it says every day to be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, transform our mind how? By when these thoughts come, right? We gotta be able to hold them captive, cancel them out, you know, take them out of our thought process because those things, they end up piling up, right? Thoughts end up piling up like almost like spam in your mailbox that you don't check it. But then when you look at it, it's just a whole bunch of junk in there that you just need to delete right um that's the same almost like with our minds and it just came up to mind as i was driving and i was having a conversation with my wife and she was like yeah you know it happens to me too and it's just like it's so good to when when you can speak with somebody about these things that happen um because they're things that are happening in your brain you don't really discuss it much or you don't talk to people about it because you're probably afraid that somebody's gonna mention something or or see you a certain way but it's it's so healthy that that we have good people you know on our side that we could talk about things like this um and that's what i wanted to highlight today i wanted to talk about this coffee break episode was just specifically just a simple ref, a reflection of of just like things that happen sometimes that come out of nowhere and and how we go about them Right. Um, so I want to ask you guys, right? How do you go about those thoughts? Leave it in the comment section below. You know, I'm, I'm curious to see how you go about them. How what, what do you do when those thoughts come to mind? Do, do you just like ah, brush them off and let them pile up um, or you cancel them out? And you're like, no, man, you don't thought you don't belong here. I cancel you in the name of Jesus. And and you just keep going. Right. Like, how do you manage those, those type of thoughts that come into your mind? when you're by yourself when you're walking when you're doing things that you're normally doing and these like pop-ups just come out of nowhere i'm just curious as to you know how other people are dealing with i know that's the way i i i've been dealing with it um i have people that i can talk to um and and open up about that without being afraid and i think it's important that we do that as well uh, because those thoughts if we don't if you don't cancel them they become an action and that action could be something you can regret. So um, make sure that when those thoughts come into your mind, as as weird as it may be, as as 
dark as it may be sometimes because our minds can wander. Uh, renew your mind. Ask the Lord to, to, to clear your mind up and put his thoughts in there when these thoughts try to come and, you know, and evade your space, you know. So um, I just want to let you guys know, take those thoughts and cancel them out. You know, you're not alone in this one. You're not the only one that has some crazy thoughts going on in your mind. Just don't allow those thoughts to become an action in your life. How can you prevent that? By talking to good people in your circle that you trust and that you can open up with them and they can also help you, guide you and, and kind of like get it out the way. Because you, you never know, you can be a blessing to somebody else that's probably had the same type of thought but never ever mentioned that to you. Actually, you know, leave that in the comments as well. How many people you know that had a specific thought you had and you didn't think that person was thinking about it? And when you finally like let them know, like, you know, oh dude, like, that, I, I was thinking about that too, right? More relatable than, than, than what we think. Um, and just wanted to share that out there, but also to renew your mind. Right? Because the Bible says that we should renew our minds every day, every day. So in today's coffee break, if there's something you're going to take from this is renew your mind. I'll leave the Bible scripture right in, the, in this little section over here. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's such a powerful uh, uh, Bible verse that we should apply to our lives every single day. Thank you to today's sponsor, Great Coffee. Uh, if you haven't bought a bag yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, buy a bag. I'll have the link to the coffee in the description as well. And while you're here, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. I got some content I'm going to be pulling out, and I want you guys to be aware of it when it does drop. And it helps the algorithm. It helps these types of videos get out there so people can also be blessed um, by just hearing certain reflections that the Lord has given me. And also... Stay connected with our interviews that we have on the channel. And if you haven't seen our previous interviews, go check that out as well. But thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video. And we'll see you in the next one. See you later.